those those tough times, uh, they kind of they kind of uh, mold you. Absolutely. I mean, so absolutely. And 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 again, kind of through the undercover work, you know, in the outlaws, I was in for a year and a half, and then they brought me down into the it's more like a cellar, but into the basement of the clubhouse and stripped me at gunpoint looking for a wire after a year and a half. But the reason they did it is because we upped the ante about doing this big dope deal. Mm. If I didn't have a wire on me, it wouldn't have been a big deal. I'd have taken my clothes off. Fine. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I was wired to the hilt, and they missed it by that much. So I learned from that. Where? How, how did they miss it? Uh, it's just... It, <laughs> If you could say, if you can't uh, well, say. Well, you know, even for the book, I'll just say, hey, it was, I, I don't think I say what part of clothing it was. I just said, hey, it was, it was on my person. Mm. But I will tell you that um, I was pretty anal about <laughs> the thing they wanted to put on me to record video. Yeah. Because the first couple of iterations were not okay with me. Because I'm like, I don't feel comfortable in it. It doesn't matter if you think it's worth it. Not. I'm the one going through the door. Yeah. If I'm not, if I'm not comfortable with it, I'm not going to do it. And I think it ended up saving me that night. Wow. So I don't know if I'd have gotten my butt kicked. I don't know if they would have shot me. I don't know. <sighs> but uh, yeah. But I learned from that. Yeah. And that molds you to become stronger as as an undercover, not just anything yeah, else. Yeah. Because you got everything on the line there. Um, and we got about mm, about seven minutes. Come. I'll have a th- three minutes before my attorney call. <laughs> No good. Um, uh, but your your mindset while you're being stripped naked and searched, mm-hmm. like what? How do you keep your? I was like back to the very beginning of the interview. Like how do you yeah. keep your composure? I'm scared shitless. Yeah. Um, so if you talk to a lot of tactical trainers, we always say, "Hey, you bleed on the range so you don't die in the street." So some people call it muscle memory. I got a pet peeve with that because I don't think my bicep has a brain, but. If I train or we train and we train and we train on getting shot at, getting off the X, change, I can show you video yeah. after video of cops, probably even military, but more mine, mine are more law enforcement that got in a shooting. They have no idea how many rounds they shot. They have no idea that they took effective cover when they did a magazine exchange. They have no idea that they got off the X because they trained so it became instinctive. So even though you're having that oh shit moment, that adrenaline dump where your, your eyes, uh, you get, um, you, we get, you get uh, audio exclusion, auditory exclusion. Mm-hmm. So your ears are going, whoa, whoa. Any traumatic incident. I mean, sure. I remember being in my first car wreck. It was slow motion, right? You know, uh, time dilation. Your eyes are going click, click. You can feel your heart beating. It feels like it's five minutes and it's only 30 seconds, mm-hmm. you know? Um, but in the undercover world, you don't necessarily get to do that unless you go back to the school and you role play. Or you go out with a group of undercovers and you just start working it and you do a bunch of what ifs. What happened in that oh shit moment, because I definitely had it, <laughs> um, is I forgot my middle name, but I didn't realize I did a distraction technique. I'm saying all these things. Um, now I'm also listening and I'm going, oh, they're going to run me on who's a rat.com. They're going to run me. They're going to Google me. Okay. I'm also looking at my friend, <laughs> like probably the second closest relationship I had out of the two year case. He's the one, he's the enforcer. <laughs> he's the one having stripped me. Oh, man. Um, and I'm looking into his eyes and I'm not saying it out loud, but I'm basically, my face is saying, am I going to be all right? And his face back to me was kind of, you're going to be all right. But then he ends up grabbing the piece of clothing and looks pretty much right where the, the equipment was at. And I, and you can hear me in the background going, Ugh. and I don't even know what I'm doing it. Right. But it's, it's one of those things where I, I think it may appear that I was cool. <clears throat> yeah. I wasn't cool. Yeah. But it was just that the training came in. Wow. Yeah. Um, you think he saw it maybe and just, Mm-mm. well, he didn't for no, sure. They did. Yeah. That's wild, man. 